Hey guys, Sam here today and I'm going to be making an ultra teeth whitening toothpaste. So, just got to touch on this, I just got out of the shower. And, um, my teeth are looking a little dingy, a little yellow, and I kind of want to fix that. But whitening strips, um, adds up and I don't want to go to the store. And, um, all those fruit things aren't really the best for your teeth because they erode the enamel. But of course... Um, it's okay if you do it every once in a while, so I'm going to make you like a really super uh, strong whitening toothpaste type thing. So you're just going to start with, there's no measurements, sorry, but like a scoop of coconut oil. Now you can research oil pooling if you're wondering why I'm putting oil in toothpaste. And then you're going to want to get some toothpaste. I'm using Tom's of Maine Whole Care. And I already put toothpaste on my toothbrush, so I'm just going to scrape that in there with it all. And just squirt a tiny bit more. So maybe half a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to let the camera and get my baking soda. This is just Arm & Hammer baking soda. And I'd say maybe one to two tablespoons of that. Okay. So it looks like this. And the last ingredient is just my um, mouthwash. I use pre-brush whitening mouth rinse. Um, but you can use any mouthwash. You can also add peppermint essential oil. So maybe... Just gonna add little bits of that because this is gonna be what determines the texture. The baking soda and the mouthwash kind of determine the texture. And you also gotta factor in the coconut oil melting. Let's see. Mix, 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 mix. It actually is a really nice texture. It's like whipped cream. I don't know why, it's really awesome texture. So now all you do is brush your teeth with this and the longer you brush, the better the result. And if you have any questions on it, comment down below. So now I'm just going to brush with that. So that's my teeth afterwards. Um, I think they're pretty um, um, white, but you know it's hard to see after just doing it once. So don't feel given up. I don't think anything should work that fast because that really means it's bleaching your teeth. Um, so I'll just give you a quick review on it and about how I brush my teeth in general. So number one. Um, for someone who never uses baking soda, you got to get used to the salty taste because it is sodium bicarbonate, so it's salty. And you got to get used to the gritty, um, grainy feeling on your teeth. Um, but otherwise, that's it's pepperminty and it's really nice. And the texture is really smooth looking, but when you put it on your teeth, it feels a little weird. Um, the way I brush my teeth is... It's kind of hard to explain, but I go side, inside, top, side, inside, top, front, back, top, front, back, top, or bottom, or I don't even know how to explain it. So I just do this, this side, this, so this side of my tooth, this side of my tooth, and this side of my tooth. So um, I do that on all of them, and then I just start brushing, like, all, like, you know how they show in the commercials, where it's like, yay, I'm done. So, and also... Although the time lapse kind of looks like I'm just like, mm, I am very gentle because I do want my teeth to last a while and sometimes I get sensitivity and I'm scared that it's going to make it worse because um, I used to grit my teeth when I was younger. So I do have a little bit of like sensitivity on the edges of like right here on the tips of my teeth. There's probably some nerve that's like damaged and sticking out or I don't even know. But um, I do gently 
brush. It just doesn't look like it in the video. But it's... I just try to imagine tickling my teeth with the bristles, not scrubbing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then with the the roots, like the top of your teeth where they're in the gums, that's where all the plaque will get built up, and that's where it's going to be the most yellow. Like, it gets yellow. It's like ombre yellow. So that's where you want to focus on, but at the same time be gentle so you don't get, like, um, receding gums. So that's pretty much how I brush my teeth. And then after doing it, just because I didn't see that much of a difference, I just got a little bit more of the paste, toothpaste stuff, and just kind of buffed my t teeth with the paste in my finger. And then uh, rinsed it out. It was pretty weird because it's so salty that once you put the water in your mouth, the water is sweeter than the salt. So it tastes like you're putting like sugar water in your mouth. So that's pretty much it. Um, I might even use every night and just use very little of it or add more toothpaste. But um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these types of videos. And if you guys want a review, make sure to tell me in the comments. I'm not getting very much feedback. I need your feedback for me to continue making videos that you guys like. So that's all. Yeah. So hopefully you will have whiter teeth because of me. And hopefully you'll try this out and tell me how it works for you. And bye.